Eric works for Elecraft, and Elecraft has a new toy that I predict that you'll get one of the first ones of. Not available until sometime late this year, maybe early next year. He'll tell you all about it. Let's just roll the video. So, Eric, uh, you guys have a new uh, product here, it looks like. Tell me a little bit about it. Yeah, we've got, uh, take a look here, we have our Elecraft KX3 transceiver. This is now, that's just the little control head, right? How big is the radio? Actually, that is the radio. <laughs> no, that's not the whole radio. That's the whole radio. Here, I'll disconnect the microphone. That's everything. So basically, you've got an HF transceiver, batteries. You wow. can put an internal auto tuner inside this. It covers from 160 to 6 meters in the basic unit. We're also planning a 2-meter internal module for it. Oh, the battery just yeah, died. Well, I had this on for a couple of days. <laughs> so batteries are getting low on this guy. I think we're down to, this thing operates down quite low voltage too. You can, uh, we're down to 9.9 .9 volts now and it gets down below about nine and a half or so. There's a lot of knobs and buttons and dials on there. It appears to be fairly full featured. It's really like a full featured HF radio. You've got, you've got everything you need at the top level. So operating this mobile, for instance, um, I actually have a mobile mount that we'll be making for this where you can actually clamp it, you know, up next to you visually. So it's right at your eye level and uh, use like RAM mounts to suction mount it to a window or whatever. We actually have a 100 watt stage that a uh, little brick amplifier you can put underneath the seat of your car, things like that. So that'll be sort of neat too. And this is HF 160 through six? Yeah, HF 160 through six, all mode. Uh, Sideband, CW, AM, FM. Actually, it'll do data modes. It'll, uh, like our K3, will, uh, boy, they're cleaning something up there. They'll uh, do RTTY and PSK31. It'll actually decode it and scroll it by on the VFO wow. B display, marquee fashion. And it'll also let you send in those modes. Actually, right now you can send with your paddle in CW mode and we'll convert it to RTTY or PSK31. It's more for fun, but it uh, basically let you casually you know, tune around and listen to stuff. It also has computer interface, so you can do all those directly through our computer terminal too. And what kind of performance? This is probably not the performance of a great big 100-pound desk radio, but how close does it come? It's awfully close. Um, the K3 is still our top-of-the-line performing radio, which has been really... Which is not a 100-pound desk radio. No, it's not 100-pound, but it's certainly in that same category of, of performance. <laughs> the K3 has been topping the charts for the last three, four years. The, um, the K... X3 is roughly between our K2 and K3 in performance. It actually will outperform most other uh, software-defined radios, for instance. And one important thing is the KX3, this little guy, is a software-defined radio with knobs. You, know, you can think about it. inside it's a software-defined radio with a knob interface on it, but we also have coming out of it an IQ interface, yeah. so you can talk to it with most of the software-defined pro you know, radio programs out there. But we've also done additional uh, design features inside on our receive side. We're high-performance guys, so we like to squeeze as much as we can out of any performance we do to take it really beyond what other SDRs have done in terms of dynamic range. And so really what it ends up as is still in that top 5 to 10 uh, radio class of receivers. So I think it's going to be a very good radio out there. What price point are we looking at here? Um, the KX3, we haven't set the final price for it yet because we're not in full production with it, but it'll be somewhere between um, 899, uh, 799, and 899 wow. in that range in the basic radio. And you can add yeah. options like this little Morse code paddle on the front I or an internal auto tuner and so on. And the availability? Um, right now, we're going into our field test with it in October. Oh, so I can take this one and help uh, tell you all about it. <laughs> no, this one stays, this goes back to the engineering lab, actually, after I head back. There's only a few of these in existence right now. I have to pry them loose from our guys' hands to bring them out to the shows. But um, we'll be um, field testing these, it looks like, in mid to late October. And we build an initial production run of those for our field testers. They give us final customer feedback so we can get any remaining rough edges out before you get it as a final customer. And then we're hoping to have this thing in production in late December. So sometime in the late December, in the January time frame, I think the first units will start shipping. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Thanks for coming by. Appreciate it. Well, now, How did do you I get to be one of those field tester guys? Yeah, no kidding. Did you tell Eric that uh, Leo Laporte would be watching this? Uh, yeah, he told me that. Um, were you like roommates or it was college? We weren't roommates. Right? And that's just fun. so funny because my college roommate is sitting right across from here, Bill Keen. <laughs> but uh, Eric was the station radio station manager at the college radio station. Uh, while I was the program director, we ran that radio station for a couple of years, WYBC in New Haven. And even then, he was kind of a geek. He was building a kit computer. I mean, this is 1976. He was building a kit computer in his room. We thought, boy, that's pretty geeky. And I guess he's still kind of doing the same thing. He he started a, uh, a hard drive company called Mountain Computer, and uh, 
he's been a very successful entrepreneur, and I, I think he's done a great job with Ellacraft. I think it's got a very good reputation. That's what I'm told. I, absolutely. Um, yeah. It's blown everybody away. And yeah. uh, I love the paddle yeah, on this thing. You, that's an option. <laughs> but I think that's you, hysterical. Like you're driving along in your car, and you're sending Morse code, or as uh, Gordo likes to call it, Morris code. And uh, <laughs> your wife is right, by the way. Susie's right. It is. You do say Morris code. <laughs> I, so I'm predicting you end up with one of these. Uh, it's pretty, pretty darn cute. Stuff. It's pretty cute. I have to say, I, I might. And that and that seems to be. You know, the chat room was guessing. They said, "Oh, fifteen hundred bucks, uh, seven ninety nine or eight ninety nine sounds like a pretty uh, aggressive price point for something like this." Yeah, yeah. yeah the, the options will boost it up a little bit. Now, hundred watt amp will take it up a few hundred bucks, I think. Sure. Probably, but uh, it's ten watts PEP, I, mean, it's still, I guess, yeah. uh, as is. Yeah. yeah, still competitive, and and batteries inside. So with the ten watts. That's a good QRP power. You can dial it down if you want to be a little bit uh, more QRP conservative and carry it with you and a high-performance radio out there in the field. Yeah, I love that. Very cool. You think that would be the kind of radio you'd use for field day maybe, or do you, do you don't use do, do HF on field day? Oh, uh, field day is just about all about HF. There is VHF on field day, okay. but, uh, but more HF. A problem, it might be a good field day radio. It depends on how good the receiver is because the thing about field day is that you have multiple stations in a confined area on the same band. Mm. You have a guy, if you're operating 20-meter phone, you've got a guy operating 20-meter CW and maybe a guy operating 20-meter teletype or digital modes just within a 1,000-foot circle. That's tough yeah. to keep those signals out of your receiver. Yeah. So if the receiver is good enough, then yes, and we'll find out. It'll be a good field day radio, but a really good field radio. Got it. Got it. Better what? Looks cool. So, yeah, 